the truth. What's going on guys, it's Revive, and it is Friday, which means it's another episode of The Best Weapon, in which in this series, we're pretty much gonna break down every single weapon in Call of Duty World War II, and we are gonna, at the end of the cycle, we're pretty much gonna see which one's the overall best. So it's breaking them down statistically, and I'm trying not to put too much of my own opinions in this. I'm trying to really just go off of stats. I might put my opinions here and there, but for the most part, I'm gonna keep it off of stats. Anyway, today we are talking about the M1928, aka the god gun aka the tommy gun aka the thompson whatever floats your boat this gun is a legendary gun not just in call of duty but in world war ii in general sometimes when i hear of world war ii besides the m1 grand this is another gun i think of it's simply it's simply a beautiful gun and it's honestly a really good gun in the game i have i have a review on this gun on my channel in which i really wasn't enjoying it but with the updates that they have done to this thing it's actually one of the best guns Anyway, let's go ahead and get started off the stats with the in, uh, inside of Call of Duty World War II. What is World War II saying about the game? And then we're going to jump into the RPMs, the damage per bullet, you know, at, at its ranges. Um, so Call of Duty is saying that the damage is 5, the range is 5, and the accuracy is 6, with a fire rate of 9. So it, it shoots pretty quick. Once we start seeing the damage per bullet at its ranges, it does 30% damage per bullet at close range, 23% damage at medium range and 19% damage long range. So now that we have pretty much talked about five weapons, here's where we're gonna start the comparison. There might be some of my own opinions, but I'll try to keep it uh, minimal. But when we start looking off of stats and damage up close, all of the SMGs so far, except for the grease gun, have a damage of 30 up close. The WAF has a damage of 30 up close. The Type 100 has a damage of 30% up close. And so does the PPSH. So all these weapons, except for the Grease Gun, which has a damage of 35% up close, pretty much have the same damage at close range. Once we go into medium range, once like we said, the Tommy Gun does have 23. The WAF has 22, so it's slightly less uh, by 1%. The Type 100 has 24, so 1% more than the Tommy Gun. And the PBSH 29 beating all of those guns. And once we go into uh, far range or long range, they all pretty much have the same damage, which is 19, uh, except for the Type 100 coming in at 18 uh, at a long range. Now, once we start comparing this gun, oh, well, okay, we're not done actually. We have to actually talk about the rounds per magazine, which is 30, 45 with extended mag, and 909 RPMs, which is how fast it shoots if you don't know. And with rapid fire, 967. So this is definitely in second place for fire rate, uh, which the fire rate listing is will, will be this the Waffen first because that has a fire rate of like a thousand something the Tommy gun which has a fire rate of 909 the PPSH which its fire rate is let me let me check real quick because I want to give you the wrong it's 722 rpm the type 100 has a fire rate of 625 rpms and the grease gun 545 rpms which means it's the slowest shooting weapon and i think it's honestly the slowest shooting weapon or smg in the game all right now for overall which is the one that we're really focusing on is where does this the 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 tommy gun fall in overall is basically if you don't know which one works for all play styles right now the current listing is grease gun type 100 ppsh and the waf uh, reasons for it is because the grease gun really is an all-around good gun if you're a bit of a more conservative player it'll work because of its damage per bullet at the ranges it also has a decent ro recoil and it doesn't shoot that fast so you can manage you know where you shoot at the type 100 because its range is what gives it the advantage the PPSH because though it can get longer ranges you're gonna have to probably you know play with the trigger a bit more so your recoil so the recoil doesn't take advantage of you using it in the WAF which honestly you really can't play conservative with this gun. Now for the type one, uh, for the Tommy gun, I would have to say that honestly, it would have to come in, in fourth place. It's above the WAF, no doubt, but it's still a gun that shoots very fast. It still has some crazy recoil. And honestly, it, it's not good at long ranges. It really isn't, especially if you have, uh, you know, rapid fire, if you're running rapid fire, like I, I love running rapid fire in this gun just because, you know, I get to shoot faster. It's definitely, the recoil is going to kick you in the butt. So I don't think this is a good weapon for conservative players just because it, it 
the recoil doesn't let you get longer shots or long range shots. So you're gonna have to get a little close to your enemy or you're gonna have to probably mess around with the enemy spawn a bit. But overall, I mean, it's a good weapon. It's a it's a pretty decent weapon. It works with all, uh, you know, divisions. It, it I like it more in the, uh, you know, airborne. But when it comes to range, it does lack that. And the PPSH does beat it in range because the PPSH, though it has some pretty high recoil, it's still manageable. And I feel like the Tommy gun, it has recoil that's manageable for some. Not everyone can manage the recoil on this gun. Some people have to run grip or they have to run, you know, steady aim or whatever. So that's why overall, I think it'll just, it'll be best in fourth place because you really can't, it, you're, you're gonna struggle to get long range shots with this. Also, it shoots pretty fast that even if you were trying to go with long range, you know, you're gonna run out of ammo fairly quick. So uh, I think that goes in, in hand with the WAF as well. But I mean, it's still a good weapon. It, it's honestly really good. If I were to give you my own opinion, I would, I might do an update. Um, on my own personal opinion on this gun because I do have one where I didn't really like it but now I love this gun right now I'm going off of stats and you know I don't want to put my opinion too much in it but that's pretty much it for today's video guys hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you are enjoying the series please drop a like I greatly appreciate it and if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe I do post every other day unless it's breaking Call of Duty news I'll try to post on it immediately uh, but thanks for watching another episode of the best weapon and it's going to get pretty interesting because we're almost done with SMGs. We're going to move on to rifles right after this. And honestly, we got some great rifles to try out. So um, it, it, it's awesome. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.